Hi there, this is Ms. Novikowski from My Home to Yours, and today we're going to play a game called The Game of Nine Cards. And all you need are nine regular playing cards, ace through nine, with the ace equaling one, and a partner. Okay, so to play Game of Nine Cards, you need a partner. Here's my partner over there. And then you need ace through nine in your cards. And you lay them out in a row in order face up so that you can see the numbers. Um, just to make it easier to see, I'm just gonna not continue in a long row. I'm just gonna put them below here, staying in order. And then you do something like rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first and my partner won, so they will go first. And you just take turns going back and forth, choosing one card at a time, until one player has three cards in their hand that equals 15. So if you add up those three cards, it makes 15. So my partner's gonna start, and they start by choosing an eight. And I'm gonna start by choosing a nine. And then, my partner chooses a three. So now I'm thinking, well, my partner has eight and three, that's 11. They could win on the next round if they choose a four, because 11 and four makes 15. So I'm gonna choose the four so that they can't choose the four. And so now I have nine and four is 13. My partner is thinking the same kind of strategy and looking what I have and choosing a number so they're choosing two so that I can't choose two. So now I have to sort of think, okay, well, what other ways can I make 15? So I've got nine and four. Um, maybe I'll choose the five. So now I've got nine and four and five. And if I add those together, that's 18. That's too much. But I've got nine and four, which is 13. And I've got nine and five, which is 14. So I could still win if my partner doesn't take that one, the ace. My partner also is looking at theirs and thinking about what they can do. And so they've got eight and three is 11, and there's not a four here. They've got eight and two is 10, not a five. So they're gonna have to try something else. So they're gonna try eight and six to make 14. But I am now gonna take that one. So now I can do Five and one is six, plus nine makes 15. So I have won this round. So my partner and I are gonna play another round. My partner realized if they had chosen the ace before I did, they would have won that round. So part of this is learning the different combinations to make 15 and, looking, and making sure you keep looking at what your partner has in their hand. Okay, so because they went first last time, it's my turn to go first this time, and so I'm gonna choose a five to start. And my partner is gonna choose the eight again to start. And so I'm gonna choose, I'm remembering the hand from last time, so I'm gonna try that again. So I've got nine and five makes 14, but my partner is realizing what I'm doing, so they're gonna choose the ace, and now they've got eight and one to make nine. So now I can't, I've got to think of something else. So I could do nine. Hmm, what could I do? I'm going to choose the four. And my partner is looking again at what I'm doing and realizing that I've got nine and five, which makes 14, but I've got nine um, and four, which makes 13. So I can make 15 if I've got choose the two, so they're gonna choose the two. They still aren't able to make 15, and either am I. Um, so I'm gonna choose, what could I do? Um, I'm going to choose the seven. And my partner's looking carefully at what they've got available to them and realizing, and I missed this, that they could take the six and now they can make 15 with eight and six and one. So they've won this round with adding up to 15. Eight and one is nine, plus six more is 15. I 
Another version of this game, again, uses nine cards and partners. And instead of making 15 this time, you're making 99. So choosing three cards and taking turns back and forth, and those three cards need to add together to make 99. So give that one a try as well.